having said that, so what I like, and again, this is a very broad, it's just you, you cover a lot of different things. So, you know, feel free, feel, and I, you know, feel free to answer how you think it's appropriate. Like, so what are some do's and don'ts for employers in general? Or if you want to talk about a specific industry, that's fine as well. Whatever you feel comfortable telling. Um, so I think sometimes very basic things that people forget, like uh, right now, um, I, I know when I was I was talking to a lot of founders and startups about sort of their first hire, for example, like you need to have workers' comp insurance. And I think that's something very simple that most of us know, but you may not know that if it's your first time opening a business or hiring somebody because nobody gives you sort of this instruction guide of these are all the things you need to do. So we sometimes think of insurance as optional. That's not. So workers' comp insurance, you need to get it. Um, <laughs> Another one that I think it kind of kind of throws uh, or is starting to throw people for a loop is right now um, in June of 2022, um, you're going to have to have a, a 401k plan or enroll people in CalSavers if you have five or more employees. And the bigger companies have already dealt with that because they've already had to do it. But I think for small companies, that's such a big change to think about like, once again, it's sort of not optional that you have to provide a, a plan or enroll your, your employees in CalSaver. So I think those are two big ones that come up a lot. But otherwise, I think people don't realize how important it is to keep good records. Um, they think records are, you know, optional or they're really for the employee. No, they're for the employer to make sure that you are keeping track of all this information, that you're keeping track of people's rest breaks, that you're paying them properly. So doing all those annoying administrative things, those are actually really important. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh because I'm dealing with a client right now. And it's like, I feel bad because it's like the, they have that deer in headlights look because when I ask the question, they're like, we're supposed to have that. And then they, I, I hate to say, I mean, they're, they're relatively from the out of state employer, unfortunately, didn't know about a lot of basic things that we consider to be basic. And it's, I can laugh about it. I feel, I mean, it's, it's terrifying because as, a, as an attorney, sometimes you feel like, you know, you feel for your clients because you're like, why did, you know, no one tell them? Like uh, maybe, you know, insurance, like if they thought it was optional, like you said, there seems to be this presumption that something, for some reason, certain insurances are optional or certain documentation. I'm like, who told you that? Or why did you assume that? And no one ever sit down with you and say, I wish there was almost like a how to, like, before you start, here's a checklist of things you should be doing. So, yes, I feel like that should be like when you incorporate or you register with the, the state of California, there should be like a little manual they give you, like, by the way, <laughs> these are all the things you need to do. Because it, it is very daunting for a company when you're so focused on just building your business and getting, you know, financial security. And then you get very excited. You can finally hire employees. And then it's like, okay, let's take a step back. <laughs> Well, you know, and you, you you know how it is. I mean, you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you're excited. And I, I get that excitement. And I, I think I love your, I keep going back to the, your metaphor of the, the angel, because ultimately it really is someone that's saying, hey, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's really take a, look at, take a look at this. You know, that policy you want to set up, you may not want to say it that way. Or this, you know, whatever you want to do. And um, as I used to be in house counsel for my family business, and it was always a tough because I almost felt like my my partners were like, you're like a negative person. Like you never, <laughs> I'm like, no, cause we have to assume the worst. We really do. Unfortunately, that's my job is to assume the worst. Right. And I, I do think that the attorneys in the room often get that sort of branded as like, you're the negative person or you're the one who always says no. And it's like, yes, but there's always a, but after it, like, no, but let's do this <laughs> because this is what you, this is what will get you where you want to go. And it's the legal way to do it. But are my favorite two words. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> like, is, can I do this? Well, <laughs> I need more information. Yeah. No. <laughs>